Welcome to Mayor. We love comics more than now. I really can't wait to see the solo Flashpoint movie. I'm your host, Ares Quinones. So the Justice League is out, and I saw it, so it's time for me to give you my thoughts. But before I do, I just want to tell you guys this is going to be a spoiler-free review. But fret not, I'm going to be doing all the spoiler talk this Monday on Variant Live, where I'll get into all the Easter eggs and fun spoiler talk. So be on the lookout for that. As for today, I'm going to start things off with the bad, and then end on a high note with the good. First thing I didn't like is I thought the first 30 or so minutes was slow. I mean, yes, the opening scene is awesome, and so is another scene involving Wonder Woman, but after that, the whole setup for the League coming together was just very meh for me. It wasn't until the League finally came together that I was like, okay, here we go. Another thing that I was like, well, that's kind of weak, was the way they brought Superman back. Now, that's not a spoiler. Everyone knows he was going to come back to life. It was even alluded to at the end of Batman v Superman. What is a spoiler is how he came back to life, and I didn't like the route they took. But, again, I'll be talking about that more on Monday. Another minor gripe I had was how much Bruce did a complete 180 from hating Superman's guts and BVS and thinking he was so dangerous to being like, no, Superman inspires. He's a beacon of hope and light. Now, don't get me wrong. That's exactly what Superman is, but I felt like the switch was so quick. And yes, I know, at the end of BVS, Bruce saw that Superman was good and was telling Diana that he won't fail him in death, but his hate was so intense in BVS, the switch seemed a little abrupt to me. Again, it's minor, but it's my honest opinion, and that's what I'm here to give. Also, the continuity with this movie, BVS, and Suicide Squad was off. There was just all kinds of things that didn't really align right. But those are really my only negatives. I mean, yes, the narrative was super simplistic, which has people saying the story isn't the best. But I feel the movie needed something super simple where we could just enjoy the characters and see their interaction. After BVS, we very much needed something where the audience could just have a ton of fun. And that's what this movie is, a ton of fun, especially if you're a huge DC fan. Now, I'm not gonna say every Every big DC fan is gonna love or have fun with this movie, but I feel like most will. The film definitely has its problems, like it's not perfect by any means, but as a comic fan who grew up reading these characters and watching them in cartoons, it was just so much fun seeing them on the big screen. Once the team came together and they started doing their thing, to me it felt like Bruce Timm's Justice League and Justice League Unlimited cartoons. The characters I thought interacted so well with one another, and everyone knows I'm a huge Batman fan, he's easily my favorite comic book character ever, but I gotta say, Superman and the Flash stole this movie for me. The Flash moments are hilarious and he makes for some of the best scenes in the film. Although, you have to keep in mind that this is a very new Flash, like he hasn't been the Flash for very long at all. Either way though, he's one of the best parts in the movie, at least I personally think so. Also, Superman. This movie has the best Superman scene I've ever seen in a live action movie. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Just all around, it has some of the coolest Superman scenes in a live action movie. It's just downright Fantastic. I also thought Cyborg was a great and pivotal piece to the movie and story. They handled him very well. Aquaman also was a ton of fun. I was worried about him being all bro like from the trailers, but it actually worked for me in the film. Then you have Wonder Woman who I thought was awesome, especially that bank scene from the trailer. Mama Pajama. Oddly enough, Batman wasn't my favorite character in the movie, which is crazy because I love me some Batman. See, Batman t-shirt and everything. But he was overshadowed by The Flash and Superman for me. Don't get me wrong, he has some awesome scenes and moments, but personally, again, Superman and Flash stole the movie for me. Cyborg. Cyborg was also great too. I just really liked the entire league in general, I guess. As for the villain Steppenwolf, he was very much meh. Come to think of it, he's actually one of my complaints in the movie. I mean, he wasn't the worst thing in the world, but he wasn't really good either. I don't know why they actually chose him as a villain for this movie anyway. I mean, they could have gone with so many other characters. You could have got Despero, Darkseid, which we all wanted, Anti-Monitor. I just don't really know why he was chosen as the villain for this movie. Also, the CGI for him in the VFX, I thought looked very much like it was pulled out of a video game. Now I know video games are very good with their like cinematics, but for a $300 million movie, this could have been better, or should have been better. Speaking of CGI and VFX, Henry Cavill's mustache removal. There was time where it was better than others, but in the opening scene of the movie, woof. Now I know I went on a negative tangent again, so let's get back to the good. This movie is a complete 180 from BVS which I think is a great thing. My biggest gripe with BVS was the lack of hope and fun. These are superheroes, they should be allowed to smile once in a while, but with Justice League, I think they're finally headed in the right direction. Justice League in general is very much about hope and coming together to make the world a better place, which is what a superhero movie should be about. Anyway, coming from a pure comic fan perspective, this movie shows promise for the DCEU going forward. I don't care what the critics are giving this film on Rotten Tomatoes, this movie was a ton of fun and has some awesome DC fan service. Also, those two uncredit scenes? Come on now. I had a full-on nerdgasm. But again, I'll get into all that on Monday on Variant Live.
Plug, plug, plug. I do want to give you people some time though to see the movie before I spoil it. In summary, if you're a DC fan, you need to see this movie. Sure, it still has a ton of problems, but if you can get past all those, like the story elements and little things here and there, you're gonna have fun with this movie, especially if you love these characters so dearly like I do. But other than that, be sure to like, follow, and sub to us. All the links are in the description below, and also head over to VariantComics.com to keep up with the Variant Nation. But I'll see you guys next time when we talk about all things comics.